uh, today we are doing some uh, cleanup in the shop and refilling of our cleaning solutions and such so I thought now would be a great time to show you how to make a quick and easy low-cost airbrush cleaner when you're in a bind. Now customarily in the shop we use the Badger Minotaire airbrush cleaner all the time but since we have six airbrushes and two of us airbrush going on three people airbrushing because our eight-year-old is going to start airbrushing soon um, even so with just the two of us we tend to run out of this very very quickly and especially when we're doing large-scale projects we have to make sure that we can do stuff when we're in a bind so what we have here is uh, we have distilled water this was 88 cents at Walmart and some isopropyl alcohol the purer the alcohol the better but this is just what I had on hand and this was about 70 something cents so for two bucks you can have all this and it makes a lot of solution um, basically what we do is and I make sure that I have this bottle here I learned this a while back and I either learned this from painter Michael Proctor or Aaron Lovejoy when I first started airbrushing they were the two that mainly taught me stuff about airbrushing so I learned it from one of these guys but I'm passing on this knowledge to you I made sure years ago when I got this I even labeled it with what it needs so that neither myself or anybody who makes the solution makes any mistakes and knows exactly what to use and how to do it so let's get started I'm gonna go over here to the sink now it says here 2% alcohol if you go a little bit above 2% please don't agonize about it it just doesn't make any sense to I put a little bit there and then distilled water the rest of the way and then you put your cap on this is a um, I got this at a Sally's Beauty Supply the bottle itself and this was about like less than a dollar um, you can also use like ketchup and mustard bottles like I guess whatever you can find at a 99 cent store you, you don't have to go crazy or anything but this is basically what we use uh, we have multiple bottles for this actually here's another one that we have and it's it goes up to eight ounces on this one eight ounce plastic squeeze bottle and same drill just a little bit this already has like a little bit of distilled water in it so that's why you see that but and that's it and that's why we do it over the sink because I like to pour nice and quick just to get it done and over with but and there you go done and done now basically customarily you want to make sure that you air that you clean your airbrush rather in between every color that you paint and when you're getting when you're finished using it and before use as well just to get it going while it's working now when we clean out our airbrush we spray it in one of these uh, paint cleaning pots I got this on Amazon it's called Supermore airbrush airbrush cleaning pot station and I got it for $12.99 I have Amazon Prime so I got free shipping and basically when you put the airbrush in and clean it looks just so with the addition of the compressor of course and, and your hose so that's basically what that looks like so when you put it in your airbrush it's okay if it sits in your airbrush too I make sure it sits in between you would pour it in while it's working and then you spray it and then you're all good so that's my story and I'm sticking to it so hopefully that helped you guys out you guys stay crispy and milk keep on painting have yourself a great day